welcome to my channel and I'm back with you once again with another video of Microsoft Flight Simulator 24. In the series of videos that I'm going for the fly-by-wire Airbus A320neo, this is going to be another one in which I will show you how to perform a hold. Before this, I've uploaded uh, videos on my channel in which I've covered how to configure the EFB and the MCD of this plane, uh, then how to start this plane from the cold and dark state, uh, how to perform takeoff and fly this plane on autopilot, how to perform an ILS approach, and uh, then how to select an alternate airport. So I will give you all the links in the description and you can just go and watch any of the video as per your learning curve for this plane. So in this video, I will show you how to perform a hold. It's going to be a short one. Uh, right now, I am going to land at Zayed International Airport in Abu Dhabi and uh, the runway is 31 left. Now deliberately, I have missed the top of descent. I should be at 3000 feet just uh, before the runway in order to intercept the glide slope this is the altitude and uh, this is the star standard terminal arrival now over here you can see that uh, i will be taking this path and uh, there is this uh, waypoint lock six if i'm not wrong <laughs> so i will be flying in this direction hitting 126 degrees and then afterwards from lock six i will let me just show you the flight plan. I will turn right, Lubick, and then another right, and I will be landing. So now you can see this is the published hold over here. Uh, maximum speed 210 knots. The speed should not be more than 210 knots for this uh, hold. Maximum altitude is 6,000 and the minimum is 4,000. So your altitude should be between 6,000 and 4,000. So that's it I will now wait for this plane to reach this point and then I will um, perform a hold over here just to show you that how you can do this it's required if uh, you uh, are not meeting any of the requirements for the approach and for the landing or maybe you have got uh, bad visibility even in in the case if you're going to perform a missed approach as it's mentioned over here then you can just perform a hold over here and then you can select an alternate airport, change the flight plan and then just go to another airport. So there are multiple uses of hold. Every time when I'm making a video, I'm making it for the beginner. So that's why I just try to keep things really simple and to the point and try to explain everything. So hopefully after watching this video, you will be able to perform a hold. I will not go into so many details. Uh, right now I've uh, crossed the transition altitude. So let's uh, adjust the altimeter. And that's it. So what I can do is this right now, instead of waiting, I can activate it right now. So if I go to lock six over here on the MCDU in the flight plan, you can see hold is mentioned. Now let's uh, look at it. So the direction of the hold is like this. So I will be turning left because I will be flying at this heading. 126 degrees and at this point I will then perform a hold so instead of turning right I will turn left you can change it you can always revert back to the computed one right was invalid for this flight right now so I've changed it to left and um, the inbound course 128 degrees I will I can change it to 126 that's it and insert now you can see at this point lock 6 a whole pattern is appearing not full half it will just sh uh, showing you the arrow that you will be turning left that's it so let's uh, wait for it and uh, then i will just take you from here once the plane enters the hold now you can see that a complete hold pattern is over here let's uh, also re reduce the speed because uh, the speed should not be more than 210 knots so i can activate approach Confirm. 
and I can extend the flaps. Set to position one. Now the plane has started to follow the holding pattern. Right now the altitude uh, for the descent uh, was 3000, I can change it to 4000. And I can wait for the plane to descend till the time I'm following this vertical flight path. The calculated one as per the, uh, the flight plan over here in the MCDU. Because you can see my altitude was higher than the calculated vertical path. Now the plane is actually following uh, this holding pat pattern over here. That's it. Now you can form hold at uh, any of the waypoints during the flight or if you get instructions from the ATC, let's say if you're flying with Watsam, then you can uh, enter hold at any point. If you think something is wrong, weather is not good, the visibility is low, let me just turn on the lights as well. Preparing the plane for the landing because after this I will be going for the landing. Now you can see this uh, dot is moving in the middle, so maybe I can just level off at 4500. Now, at any time, I can uh, exit this hold or I can just keep on flying in this hold and plus uh, I can also fly directly to any of the waypoints let's say Lubeck over here at this point I can just fly to this waypoint as well so let the plane take this uh, last turn and then I will exit the hold so now let's say if I want to exit this hold I can press this button and uh, the plane will exit the hold. If I press it again, then it will resume the hold. So let's see what happens if the plane exits this hold or not. It will then turn right from here and fly towards Lubeck. Uh, and as I've told you before, you can also fly directly to Lubeck. And with this, I can start the descent as well to 3000 feet. It's in the manage mode, so that's it. So the plane will actually follow this vertical path. You can see that this arrow is appearing, the zigzag one in cyan color, which shows you that you will be following this vertical path by this point. Now the descent has started. At any time, I can again press this button, resume hold. But uh, let's exit the hold. And now you can see that hold has uh, disappeared. And now the plane is turning right. So that's how you perform a hold in the flight. And uh, now you can do it yourself. So I hope this was a useful video for you and now you will be able to perform a hold in your flight. If you have any questions, you can ask me in the comment section or if you want to add anything to this video, the comment section is there for you. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for staying with me. Have a nice day. Hope to see you soon.